up guys? Okay, right now I have the Alteza at the workshop and it's about time to take this 3S out and put in the 2J for fitting purposes. We're about to rip this car apart. Let's do it. So right now it's done, we have taken out the engine and we are about to change the cross member. So basically with the Alteza, this cross member is the 3S cross member and to put in the 2J, you need to have a 1G. This is Alteza cross member but it's a 1G version which is a 6 cylinder 2 litre uh, version of the Alteza. So it fits perfectly with this cross member because it's meant for a 6 cylinder block. I just need to swap this with this and then we are ready to rest that 2J on the chassis. I cannot wait. Still lots to be done, so much more. It is not even 10% yet. So it took many hours to get all the wiring out and right now I'm trying to clear everything, took out the brick servo uh, next is to take out the steering rack after the steering rack, only we can put in the cross member Woo! and I'm drained today, today I'm just feeling lethargic a bit but I gotta get this done, it's been too long Nani? I was clearing out the water from the compressor and the pipe blew a few moments later <laughs> yes. Finally, cross member is out I'm taking a break This is the difference of the cross member I'm not sure what's the difference But it seems According to the seller, this was a 1G6 cylinder cross member and this is the 3S cross member. Hmm, do you guys see the difference? But I don't see the difference. They look pretty much the same. I did not record much of the progress because it was uh, quite frustrating to open everything up and it took a lot of time so I just wanted to fast forward and, and, and just it's actually quite not important it's just pulling out stuff from the car now everything is clear I've actually installed back the steering rack and the, the cross member remember I took this out but it seems like the person who sold it to me said that there's a 1G uh, cross member so I just swapped it up but to me it looks the same with the one that is on my car so I took out the fuel line and the brake lines because with the 3S engine in the Alteza the fuel line is on the exhaust side of the 2J because the intake is here for the 3S and the exhaust is here on the 3S but for the 2J it is the opposite way which the manifold is here and the intake is here so I have to switch the fuel line from this side of the chassis to this side and the brake lines as you can see the rear brake lines 
are also at the exhaust side so I have to relocate them to this side too because it's going to be really hot here with the turbo manifold and the exhaust side. That's about it. I actually took out the fuel tank which was a bitch to take out. I took out the fuel tank, took out the whole fuel line, took out the long shaft because you got to modify the long shaft for it to work on the R154 that I have. So this is the R154 gearbox which is a JZX100 gearbox in two J's getting ready to put it in for fitting purposes and on the inside I took out the wiring because I, I'm going to be doing a new wiring for the new ECU so I won't be using the stock ECU it's going to be run on the standalone so I'm going to be using a Link Fury took out the dashboard took out all the wiring and the soundproofing stuff I actually wanted to go with like a normal street car <laughs> I guess after taking out everything, I won't be doing a streetcar setup. I'm going to be taking out the tar at the bottom here. So I have to drop the car because I can't open the door that much over here. I have to put the engine inside, drop the car, um, take out the seats, take out the carpet and remove everything. I get to reduce a lot of weight just from that. So wiring for the lights and everything is going to be redone. So there's a lot, a lot more to do guys. That's why it's taking so long. <sighs> So yeah, basically everything's stripped out. But I'm happy with, I am just gonna be full-fledged doing this as a track car, as a play car. So everything is clean, it's gonna be easy, accessible. That's why I just wanna make it easy to work on the car if anything happens. So there are a lot of things I'm just gonna be throwing out. So that's about it. We'll put that 2J sitting in here in no time. down from the stand, installed the clutch which is a XZD Hyper Twin Carbon Clutch. I got it with the gearbox that I bought. So it's a used unit, hopefully it lasts me but I'm just gonna use this temporary and I kinda need to find for my fork which I don't know where I put it. I misplaced it and I hope I can find it. So I found my fork but the pump here doesn't have the shaft to push this um, fork. So this is a pool type um, clutch and I found out there is something missing here at the clutch pump. <laughs> problems, problems, problems. really happy to at least look at it even though there's a long more progress to go uh, the gear shifter knob is just right on point perfectly over here no need to worry for that oh my god I'm so happy to at least vision it right now at least seeing the engine in the chassis makes me feel like I'm closer so it's not going to be running anytime soon because right now the engine is in there to measure all the gearbox mounting, engine mounting. I'm going to get custom engine mountings and uh, gearbox mounting. It's going to be solid mounting. So that's about it for today. The next vlog is going to be probably closer to completion. I hope so. But this is it. The engine is already in. So anyway, whatever you're doing, quick it up. See you in the next vlog. I can do this. I can 
do this. 